red dot on the screen. Sure has, Harry Cat. Check this. So here we have Helicat on the way to Cambridge again, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to stop Ooh. off somewhere. It's for. Oh, yes. Can't really get a zoom and it's not Andy Cat behind the camera. And <laughs> now a bridge of life. I like that front you've got. That's what I want to get for my front. What? That lattice work. Oh, right. <laughs> it's really good. What white things? Lows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't realise what they were. Okay, my friend was a great pianist and still is. And we used to do lots of songs together. And yeah. Making up songs and singing songs and Carol King and... Who else was it? Joni Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> And all those great female vocalists yeah. to be proud of, and um, Carly Simon. Carly Simon, yeah. Jenny was a good one. I played by ear, and I played with a friend, uh, Mal Thompson, his name is, and another guy, and um, we we played to, we made up our own songs. They were children of survivors of the Holocaust songs. Right. It wasn't so much that the songs were about that, but the three of us were from that group, so the songs came out sort of like that, a lot of them. Mm. But I'm actually still playing with Malfonts. He's doing flamenco, he's a flamenco expert. Not really? him, it's Malfonts we call him now. That's his stage name. Oh, I see, it's the same yeah. person? Yeah. Because I remember we went for your... We went uptown, was it one of your birthday things? Oh, yeah. And it was to no. hear a little band. Oh, yeah, come on. And I, did he get up and... No, you got up and played and sung with them. That was really good. Where Do you remember that? this? Oh. Shit. And there were some people there had been from your work. Oh, you're kidding. No, so know. this was that Any long ago. What year was this? We went uptown and it was like a little blues, bluesy, jazzy place. It was tiny. It was quite small. But you did get up and play, Don't and you were very good because I think it was the first time what did I'd I play? heard you. Oh, it wasn't. In get up and Wood. sing with them. Was it? Sorry. It wasn't in Boreham Wood. No, no, it's up in, God knows. Um. But anyway, I think he played. Oh, Malfons. Yeah, but he's a really he was a really he's good guitarist. So good. But he's on my YouTube, no, yeah, my YouTube account as well. With a flamenco thing. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gets recording now. Okay. Well, we're out today in um, Gospel Oak, and it's bank. It's the day after Bank Holiday Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday is. Uh, what's the date today? April the. Is it eighth? Night. Is the second or third day of Holomoy? Second day of Holomoy, is it? Yeah. And I'm out with Leslie. <laughs> discussing how to put the worlds to rights and I think we've almost got there and uh, look there's the view basically the whole of well this 
city, I think. The city, and then there's the London Eye, which is by the river, the post office tower, which is in Tottenham Court Road, and the Gherkin, which is in the city of London, the Lord Mayor's office. That's where we are. And I had the Seder at Lowen Twiles, that was very interesting. And then I went to Mrs. El Kubi for the Sunday day meal. Oh no, I went to Mr. Mrs. Markovsky for the Shabbos day and then Mrs. El Kubi for the Sunday day. And then the boys came home this morning and then I did a big massive cook up of all the meat that I bought for the whole of Pesa because that's it, I've cooked it all now, chicken and some steak. And hopefully that's for everyone. Heim's gone to play it with bicycles with Mr. Moisha Davis. I've just gone to the gym with his friend. Yesterday I went to Mrs. Markowski's house and for the first time in I don't know, about 12 years I actually cooked a great big pot of potatoes and I peeled all the potatoes, which I never do, and then I kept saying to him, give me more potatoes, more potatoes. This was for Mordy. I said, go on, I'm going to do it like your dad does. I'm going to cook for a whole army and then There'll be a whole army of food left over. So I said, come on, give me them potatoes. Pour them all up. And I just put a bit of salt, a tiny bit of oil, that's it. And they were delicious. And we couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I'd cooked these fabulous potatoes. There was so much there. And everyone was getting these bowls of potatoes going, oh, they're fantastic. And then Mrs. Markowski cooked up a load of schnitzels. I had to do two rounds of that. It was so much. And then that has been paced so far. And cut! That's me. That's my turn to sing. I want to sing. <laughs> so, and, and who might you be? Well, I have come to support one of the uh, contestants at today's second YouTube Andy Cat yes, Emirates. But, but the thing is, thing. Um, aren't you an artist in your own right? Yeah, but I'm not going into that now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you choose not to audition for the X Factor? Because uh, I'm not principles. I'm not principles. I'm not your business, you idiot. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you're very supportive of um, Andy Cat, who is actually doing the audition. What name are you going under today? Or are you in Jane Smith. Jane Smith, so you're incognita. Right. Hmm. Well, Jane Smith. Listen, I want to wish my Andy Caddy Cans the best of luck for 2012 X Factor being held right here in the Tottenham Football Ground, aka Emerald Stadiums. <laughs> Thanks, darling. <laughs> And that's me! <laughs> <laughs> article here in Tuesday, April the 10th, Metro. Uh, Paul Weller has criticised so-called edgy aspiring singers who chase success by auditioning for TV talent shows. The former jam frontman told the Radio Times that he would never become a judge on competition shows such as The Voice or The X Factor. Weller, 53, called TV talent shows Saturday night viewing for the masses. Adding, would I be a judge? Would I hell? He told the magazine I'd be too embarrassed to be on those shows. You get some of these kids who think they're a little bit edgy, got a bit of a Pete Doherty haircut. He added, you're not really edgy, mate. Otherwise you wouldn't be on an effing talent show, would you? 
pianist and TV presenter Jules Holland, 54, that means they're both older than me, who was also interviewed by the Radio Times, agreed, saying, yeah, you'd kick the microphone over and you'd say, it's a load of old... You know, it's like, it's got to be the end of the world, hasn't it, as we know it. <laughs>